If you live in the US, you probably know the highways around you pretty well, but don't have a clue once you leave your comfort zone. Unless you're an interstate truck driver. Luckily, there's actually an order to the highways, and once you know it, it's harder to get lost. New Englanders know the I-95, 90, 495, Southern Californians use the 10, the 405, and the 5. But what does it all mean? Well, the numbers aren't crazy or random, and if you zoom out on the map, you can see that there's actually a great order to them that makes sense. The US interstate highway system was developed in the 1950s, spearheaded by Eisenhower, to build a strong transport network to connect the country. Before that, it was pretty haphazard. In fact, the Army sent a fleet across the country to test the roads in 1919, and it took them 62 days to go from D.C. to San Francisco. While there are lots of weird exceptions, this is how the system works. All primary main interstate highways, the big boys, are numbered 1 to 100. Anything going north-south is odd, starting with 5 on the west all the way to 95 on the east. Anything going east-west is an even number, starting with 10 at the bottom and 90 at the top. It's kind of a grid, more like an abstract art version of a grid. Yes, there's also three-digit highway. Those are local side routes that shoot off of one of the main interstates. The last two digits of the three digits call out the main interstate that it connects to. While knowing the interstate number system helps a lot, it doesn't solve all your problems. States and cities all have their own highways too and they don't have to follow those rules. State highways are the ones that usually have an outline of the state, although some states like to get a little fancy, and the ones that look like this are the older version of the US highway system. They're not standardized like the interstates. The interstate system always has the blue and red shield. I hope you get lost less.